Everybody, I'm so excited. Today is Puppy Day, or I should say Merlin Day, really, because we know his name. We are buzzing, we are so excited. So, if you're new, you might be. I've watched a lot of these videos in the run up to this day, but we are a family of five. We've got three kids, Mark and I, and we are picking up our golden retriever puppy today, and we're so, so so excited how many times have i said that today i think i've said it quite a lot um but i'm just making myself a coffee to take in the car mark is taking the kids now i'm going to meet him outside school in the car and then we'll probably switch over because i'm a hopeless driver and he is not and then um we're going to make our way to go and pick him up he is a little over an hour away and obviously we have to pick him up sensibly as per all of the guidelines and restrictions and things in place at the moment with uh, COVID. So um, we've got face masks, we've got hand sanitizer. Um, we had to book a slot. So obviously there are two little litters of puppies. They are like professional breeders. Um, they're a lovely, lovely family and do it all on their own home. And they've got like, um, it's almost like, they've got like a big country, like loads of fields and big country house. Gorgeous, it's so nice. Merlin's downgrading slightly. Um, and yeah, so we had to book a slot just to make sure that we could do it safely. They're still a business, so they're still able to operate and we're still able to go and get him. But it's like, it's made it a little bit different, which is one of the reasons why we chose him to do it today when all three kids are at school or preschool, because A, it's so stressful for Merlin in the car on the way back. So we did it at the weekend. The kids would be very excited and it would be quite intense for him. So he gets a bit of time to come home afterwards and sort of acclimatise himself, get used to the space. And then when they come home, it will be less like intense. They'll be excited, obviously, um, but it will be less in your face, I think. And gradually is probably the best way to do it. But also with social distancing, it just means that we're keeping them safe and we're also keeping the breeders safe and it's just a little bit easier to manage. So um, I'm gonna make, myself coffee to take in the car, load the car up, I've got a bag of stuff, I'll show you what I'm bringing with me in case you are getting your puppy seen, you want to know what we're taking for a long-ish journey, not like too long, and then um, we will be on our way and I'm so excited, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, anyway, I need to make this coffee so I'll see you in a bit. So this is what's in our puppy bag. It's like packing your hospital bag, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to have a baby. Um, I'll pull things out at random. So I've got some kitchen roll in case he feels a bit cartic and we need to clean anything up. Um, I also have a pack of baby wipes. Um, we had these um, left over in Stan's nursery bag. So I put a new pack in and took this small pack with us. Um, face mask for us. I have hand sanitizer in my coat pocket. We've got a couple of toys. I don't think he'll need them, but if he does warm up in the car, it would be nice to have something to entertain him with. Um, we have a blanket, poo bags, just in case we need to stop. Obviously, we are gonna try not to because he's not had his full vaccinations yet and we don't wanna put him anywhere where other dogs have been, but if a puppy needs to go, a puppy needs to go. Speaking of that, we do have four puppy pads in here, uh, either for the footwell um, or my lap or anything like that. We have a collapsible bowl, some water, little puppy treats if we need them, and then a collar and a lead. I anticipate that we won't probably need hardly any of this, but I'd rather be, you know, safe than sorry. So I'm gonna pop all of this in here. And then we are going to go get in the car. Woo! Bye bye house, because when we come back, you are going to be even more manic than you already are. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry uh, us like wind in our
so we have him and we've just pulled over so Mark can have a proper cuddle because he's absolutely beautiful he's so so sweet he's tiny um so he's all he's all ours now we've got a little welcome pack and we're going to try and get him home and start the rest of our lives crying no i'm not crying i'm just i'm excited he's so cute he's so cute he loves a cuddle apparently and can be a little bit shy but we will soon get you all accustomed to our little family the kids are going to be obsessed with you oh look at him melon hello buddy are you wagging your tail hello hello darling Good boy. Good boy. Hello. Are you having a play? Hi. Hello. Good boy. <gasps> That's it. Good boy. Have you come to say hi to Merlin? I don't think he's bothered by you, is he? I'm not sure about him, he looks like a giant tiger. What do you think, Elsa? So we are home and he has really settled in actually. I know that the kids aren't here yet and it's only been like an hour or so. Um, but <laughs> he's just so cute. He's not hidden away much or anything like that. If anything, he kind of just follows you around everywhere like your little shadow. They did say that he was quite cuddly and quite shy, but we've not really experienced the shyness yet. Um, he might be with the kids more so, but he's been for a huge wee. He held it in all the way there, and he didn't wee straight away when he came in. Um, he went for a massive wee before, which was really good in the garden. He's not like had any accidents yet. And he's had some food, and we've been playing outside with him. Like He's been wagging his tail and chasing us around. He's got a thing for feet. So like every time we run, it's like he thinks it's hilarious, <laughs> and he just follows you. And now... I don't know if you can see, but he is fast asleep on me. And then I'm going to go and get the kids shortly. And then we're going to introduce them, which is quite exciting. No, sorry, I'm just thinking ahead because we've got swimming lessons tonight as well. So the logistics of all of that is going to be quite... Oh, where are you going? Oh, we just rolled off. And um, the logistics of that is going to be um, like quite busy. But um, I think it's quite good really because it means he gets little breaks from them as well and they'll be nice and worn out after school, play, play, play group I was going to say, preschool, and um, swimming as well. And then we're just going to help you settle in, aren't we? You're so cute. <laughs> You're bloody kidding me. I've literally just left the house and what's it start doing? Raining. What time is it? School run time! It's standard, I swear. I've been trolled by the weather. Um, right, I've left Mark and Merl, Merlin, together at home and I'm going to get the kids. He did the school run this morning, so it's only fair that I do it now. Plus, I feel like I can set the kids up and then Mark can just mind him. But um, he is absolutely adorable. We're besotted. And he's not even met his three new best friends yet. I can't wait. My bell. I think he wants to play with you. Yeah. He wants to play with you. 
why don't you show him his bunny rabbit? I still remember The day that you came You were so little <laughs> For me it's just a day Now you're all grown up Tall as a tree what do you think of Merlin? He's adorable. He's cute. Cute and adorable, adorable and cute. Are you happy? Good. So if you were it that a chance will pass you by. And if you're standing. So I'm in the car with my biggest boy, aren't I? You want to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if I put it here, wait, you might be able to be in shot. We'll do it like this. So you've just been swimming, haven't you? Yes. Yes. I can't watch swimming anymore because they won't let um, parents of older children watch. It's only the young ones, but it's so social distancing. But um, I do miss watching you swim. But did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. You, you're not enjoying. Oh, it's going dark. It's going dark. Hopefully you'll still see us. I wanted to catch up quickly now while I have Bill with me because. Um, it would be hectic when we get home. And then, and then when we get home, we get to have Merly Cuddles. Merly Cuddles, you're very excited, aren't you? Yeah. He has settled in so well, hasn't he, Bill? Yeah. He's been brilliant. He's not had any poos or wheeze inside. No. Um, we've had wheeze outside. We've not had a poo yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at him checking me like mum no that's not cool um but yeah he's just been brilliant and him and stan i don't know if it's because they're a really similar age but they have clicked they have been having so much fun together and um we tag teamed with swim lessons so marked up daisy earlier and i had bill and stan with me and then he's been back at home with the little two and merlin now but he says that like he's moved them to another room to let him sleep for a bit because he's obviously knackered but he's so curious that he keeps waking up doesn't he and then he wants to go and play again and like go and see what everybody's doing so i think i'm hoping that he wears himself out tonight yeah one thing that i didn't i'll tell you this now because i've not told you this what? when we got there this morning we pulled up and we were um just waiting for them to go and get merlin and they live on this beautiful it's almost like like a country like house type thing like a, a cottagey type thing but they've got yeah. loads of land and we were waiting there for merlin to come to us and then who should run up but merlin's mum and dad like of all the dogs, they've got loads of dogs. Oh, but it was yeah. Merlin's mum and Merlin's dad ran up to say hello and Mark was like, it's really weird like of all the dogs to come and say hi to us, it was those two. Lily, Merlin's mum, put mud all over Mark because she was like jumping up to say hello and she was proper cute, she'd taken a right fancy to him. But then um, Marley jumped up on the windows um, of the car to try and say hello when we pulled in. And um, now we have um, muddy footprints on the car as well. Can you see them? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it was quite cute. It was just really weird like because they have loads of dogs and they're obviously really passionate about them um and the dogs like all eat raw food and they're all free like rain and stuff and yeah it was amazing but we're going to go back now because we need some cuddles don't we yeah and um i have not had my dinner yet either mark's making our dinner i think we're having a curry which would be nice he's going to make that so yeah i thought i would fill you in yeah and i'm going to drive bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> 